This is our trusty engineer, uh, Thomas Mulroney, who will be our object, our obstacle today. This is a sliding gate, um, which we have um, uh, automated uh, recently up in Edinburgh. As you can see, we've installed a Beninka Bison sliding gate operator and a full suite of BEA LZRs. These LZRs are the 10 meter version and there are two mounted on the private side, one covering the opening side public, one covering the closing side public and the same can be found on the public side. Sorry, that's the private side. This is the public side. Two more LZRs on the, pri on the public side. This um, LZR here is protecting the space between the fence and the gate should a child ever be stood on the wall looking over the fence and the uh, the 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 other elves that are on the public side is also protecting the closing space. Give the gate command to open. Should an obstacle stand in the path of the gate, the gate would stop moving. The obstacle is removed. The gate will continue moving. If the obstacle was to stand in the drawing hazard area the gate would also stop until the obstacle is removed and then would continue and for the purposes of this installation we have set a two second pause time one two and if the obstacle is presented in the middle of the driveway the gate stops and then if you can try the drawing hazard on this side obstacle is removed and then the drawing hazard is also protected obstacle is removed the gate will continue then to open and if we move to the public side we can see the public side LZRs an obstacle is detected and then he will move and try the drawing hazard area if his body is placed in the path within half a meter the gate will stop until the obst obstacle is removed and then the gate continues its movement. So with the use of just four LZR products, we have covered all drawing hazards, the most dangerous parts on a sliding gate. We've covered the opening area at the trailing edge of the sliding gate and the full closing area on the leading edge of the gate. Uh, the drawing hazards, we've set the lasers to protect half a meter either side of the main vertical post. And these lasers were, were programmed to protect six meters in that direction, all the way to the far wall. And also six meters across this way to the main post there as well. Uh, the installation, uh, you can see the LZRs are mounted onto the LBA brackets. Very simple, um, two bolts holding each to a custom flat plate, which we had fabricated by a blacksmith. And the cables have been contained in the main vertical post through a flexible conduit where they meet the DIN rail mounted power supply and then further connected into the gates control board. Uh, so it's a, a fast installation. Uh, very simple to program using the BEA programmer's remote control um, and, and I find it quite aesthetically pleasing. Hidden cables, not many products, um, 
to be installed um, so a quick installation time very easy and, and quite intuitive to program but but most importantly uh, a supreme non-contact safety device as compared to the old safety edge system which we're still to remove uh, from the original installation by a different company um, on this particular installation you would have required a safety edge on the trailing edge on the leading edge on this side of the main vertical post on the other side of the main vertical post uh, and then further safety edges on the public side so um, here just four absolutely fantastic products to install quick simple to install and extremely reliable uh, we've personally had zero product failures in four years and the customers really enjoy the green and red LEDs on the front which tells them instantly you know why their gate may not be opening uh, maybe there's an obstacle a kiddies toy a carrier bag build up of debris etc um, so here we have uh, a very safe installation using just four BEA laser products thank you